so I got something I never understood so went to driving school and stuff and been around trucking for 12 years I didn't realize how easy it is to slide a fifth wheel till to, till about a week ago when I needed to slide it all the way to the back and didn't have a trailer to do it uh, I have released the air slide on the fifth wheel and I've watched guys do this a million times like They'll be slamming back and forth trying to get this fucking thing to move. Uh, but nobody ever told me it was this easy. I gotta tilt the, the fifth wheel plate up. I could just do it with my hand, but I don't want to get it greasy. It doesn't want to stay up today. Usually it'll stay up when I do that. But anyway, for sliding it back and forth, aside from getting it over that lip, well, of course, oh, there it is. see, it's that easy. Why didn't anybody ever show me that? You gotta pull it, I guess. But you can slide it back that easy. Sliding it forwards is easy, easy enough. You do the same thing just the other way. I mean, it's heavy, but uh, it sure beats. back around the other side now it sure beats rocking back and forth on the damn thing for ever while hooked to a trailer anyway figured I'd show that one other thing I want to show it's just how bad of a bad of a day the guy I parked next to had They straight up pulled the motor out of it. Someone had a rough day. Wow. Saying, oh no, it's rear engine. I don't know what was in the front. Maybe a generator or something. Hey look, the Craigslist side. Man. Got some good tires on. So it's a FEMA trailer. It, uh, I picked it up from a military base. It's got some tire problems. It's got some rough. Huh? Yeah. But I uh, also wanted to document that it's missing a skirt on this side. Man, these tires are rough. But 
that's missing the aerodynamic skirting. You can see it on the other side. So that's one of the downfalls of pulling a uh, pulling power only trailers is you are stuck uh, dealing with whatever BS you get. <clears throat> You'll see the other tires. This trailer, every about half the tires should be replaced on it. Uh, but it's not my trailer, so what I do is I just replace the one that's flat or have it repaired if it can be repaired. Um, and believe it or not this is a US government trailer this is a FEMA trailer the reefer doesn't work on it uh, that's you know whatever they use an old reefer trailer for hauling stuff around but you'd at least think that the government uh, would have street legal or roadworthy vehicles and they're paying contractors to haul them around because it's the same government that'll fine me and ticket me for all the BS being broke on their own damn trailers. Uh, sometimes I wonder if power only is worth doing because of it, but at the same time I do get variety on what I work on. So, And uh, I'm at a Loves here. Gonna get the tire changed. That CRST truck's in front of me and then after him it's me. Uh, they have another bay that's empty why I'm not in there being worked on I don't know they've got like 15 employees here just standing around I don't know, maybe they're holding the place down shoot there's at least four of them standing right over there taking a break I don't know where that guy's going I guess you know well he's working on that truck probably with the up. but uh, still I I don't know uh, why there's so many guys and nobody can change my tires see okay so yeah the uh, trailers got more issues than uh, originally thought one of the brake cans is caged and somebody has completely removed the ABS system out of it and so of course the shop here is like oh we don't want to touch it because of DOT stuff and it's whatever uh, some of the big shops won't touch your trailer if they don't think it passes DOT uh, I could go to another shop and have the tires fixed but that still doesn't change the fact that the brake can is caged and I had to wait here three plus hours just to have them approved to change the tires let alone work on the brake cans or even put a ABS system in the trailer which is totally missing um, I'll show you guys here I'm not sure what that wire does um, who knows that one might have just been a I bet you there was a turn signal there at one point um, but those wires down there that are hanging are for the brakes um, they're for the ABS system there's another set of wires there that aren't plugged into anything maybe they were for a turn signal or a light I don't know but anyway not working okay so to kind of close on what happened here, I got hired by a contractor to go pick up a trailer off the military base. Told me it was a FEMA trailer, told me I'll go pick it up all four hours down the road, we'll pay $1,500 for 240 miles. Not a bad load. Went to go pick it up, ended up with tire problems. Took most of my day trying to get the tire taken care of, and then the comp then Loves wouldn't fix the tire. Um, because of the other issues wrong with it. So it turns out that the trailer was owned by another carrier who they were having problems with. So they just had him come pick it up. I guess the important part to the broker was that it got off the military base because they were getting charged to keep it there. Anyway, uh, the owner of the trailer came and picked it up. It's no longer my problem. I'm still getting $750 for doing the load, and I didn't deliver it to the final. I only drove it 30 miles down the road to a shop, but it's off the military base now, so they're happy. Um, 
and that'll be that. But the uh, I would have hauled that trailer all the way to the final destination uh, with just a good tire, but I was having such a hard time getting the tire dealt with. And if they wouldn't have dicked around half the day trying to get even approval to change one of the tires, uh, I would have got the tire changed and maybe if they didn't do it here I would have drove it to another shop then just got it changed but anyhow it's it's not my problem anymore um, and we'll be on to the next one uh, that'll be the end of this video thanks guys.